What's going on YouTube? This is Necrostevo, and if my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I'm sick. But today we have a triple battle that I had against uh, Satoshi. I will leave his Twitter link in the description in case you want to battle him. He is, uh, I think he actually does triple battles more often. And so he asked me for a battle, and I don't do triples battles very often, so I decided to accept. And I brought along this little fun team here. You can see me starting out with Solrock and Kafagrigus and Cacturn. And I saw Shedinja and Carbink in the team preview. And of course, that means he's going to be trying to give Shedinja sturdy. And I have three or four different ways to stop this on this team, so I wasn't worried about it. But at the same time, I am sick, so I didn't make the best plays. But this was a fun battle nonetheless. I'm expecting the Brave Bird that I was able to get off the spiky shield with my Cacturn. Um, I knew he was going to just Brave Bird again, but I guessed wrong as he Brave Birds my Kafa Grigas on the next turn. And Mr. Bright is able to easily set up the Trick Room. Bronzong is nice as a pivot just because it has Heat Proof uh, and most people expect it to have Levitate, so I'm able to switch it around a good bit. This is more of a doubles or singles oriented team, but it worked out okay here. Um, as I just Shadow Balled the Furothorn to get some damage, he went for his own Dazzling Gleam. I was very pleased with how little that did it meant that he was more defensive. I am able to KO the Talonflame through the Reflect with Rock Slide from Mr. Bright. So that's pretty nice, as that means I will be able to bring back in Cacturn, and it won't be as threatened. Uh, he does go out into Shedinja here, and this is where I thought he was actually going to try to make the play to uh, Skill Swap and Worry Seed the Shedinja, but he actually switches it back out on this turn and goes into Gudra. Uh, and so I kind of just went for, I went a little will o crazy on this turn. Um, he T-Ways my Kafagrigus, and I am able to will o -wisp the Ferrothorn and I will o -wisp the Gudra, just trying to hit the Shedinja. Uh, unfortunately, he gets a critical hit on my Cacturn with the um, Dazzling Gleam. And looking at that damage, I definitely knew I could live another one, but I didn't know if his Gudra was going to try to target down my Cacturn as well. Uh, I did not think that he would double target Cacturn with the Pokemon that he has. He could hit it with, of course, Gudra and Carbink because they're both on uh, Cacturn's side of the field. And unfortunately for me, he actually carries Gyro Ball on his Ferrothor, and so that does a ton of damage to my Sarok. Fortunately, Sarok is brave nature, so he doesn't quite uh, pick up the KO there. And I was hoping for a flinch here or something, but I don't actually get anything. Um, and I miss out on this KO barely on the Carbink. I would love to KO that thing right there, um, just because that would have put his whole Shedinja strategy down the drain. But I miss out on the KO, and so. Um, now that I no longer have Cactur, my only way of stopping Shedinja from getting sturdy is to save Kafa Grigus or to burn it on the way in. Because uh, if once he swaps it over, of course, I can't kill it with any moves anymore. Because sturdy takes you down to 1 HP, of course. And um, if you only have 1 HP, sturdy is just constantly active. And so here I just decide to explode with my Saw Rock, um, and I try to disable the... Uh, the Pharaoh Thorn to stop him from going for Thunder Wave, because I knew if you put Thunder Wave on the Shedinja, then I also couldn't burn it. So that was just a series of misplays on my part because I forgot about the fact that with the Trick Room um, no longer down, now uh, Kafagrigus is the slowest thing on the field, and so I'm going to go after him. But that's okay, I am able to explode and take out the Carbink. Um, I still have the opportunity to uh, either burn the Shedinja. Or, of course, I could give it the mummy ability if I force it to hit my Kafagrigus. And so we really need to switch Kafagrigus out of here. My last Pokemon is actually Exploud. Um, I wanted to use Mega Camera up on this team, but I was playing against him. He was using his X version, I believe. So I couldn't use it. Uh, we do see the competitive activate for my Wigglytuff. Uh, with Mega Mawile on the field, Wigglytuff really can't do anything unless the Trick Room is up. Then, of course, I resist the Sucker Punch. Um, and then I can, of course, take him out with a flamethrower or a fire blast. Or what I actually end up doing is just uh, hyper voicing the entire field because Wigglytuff is very fun to have in the center in a triple battle. It gets hyper voice and dazzling gleam. You can just kind of blast your opponent over and over and punish them for bringing any Pokemon with the ability Intimidate. So those are both fun things. Uh, unfortunately for me, he is able to paralyze his Shedinja and. I fully admit that I was so out of it that I didn't really notice that he did that, because otherwise I would have just switched out Kafagrigus um, and brought an X-Plot right then. Rather than what happens on this turn, where um, uh, I don't 
really notice what's going on, and you see me attack the Shedinja with a Shadow Ball, and that's pretty pointless there. there there's no point in doing that when he has Sturdy. Uh, I was very pleased with the amount of damage that Wigglytuff did with the Life Orb, plus one uh, Hyper Voice there, to, or not the Hyper Voice, but the Dazzling Gleam, and I was able to knock out the Gudra, and almost one hit KO the Mega Mawile from full health, so that was pretty impressive in my opinion. But now that I have all these Pokemon in here, there is nothing that I can do to stop the Shedinja. Of course, he Worry Seeded my Kofagrigus early in the battle, and so I never switched it out, so it still has Worry Seed on it, so even if he attacks it, he won't get the Mummy ability. And I have no way of giving him a status condition, because he, um, uh, of course has Thunder Wave, he has Paralysis on the Shedinja, excuse me. So, there were a number of ways I could have stopped that from happening, but at the end of the day, I just played really poorly, and I didn't. But I did want you guys to see how awesome it is when you get this set up, because it's quite a quite a feat, really. You, you have to do a lot of things right to get that set up. My opponent got that going, so. I'll have some more videos up when I'm better, and in the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day. Bye-bye now.